All right, so perimeter and area, that's what we discussed yesterday. I want to do a quick recap. So first we did parallelograms. The area is just base times height, right? It's a simple formula. This is a formula that you need to memorize. It's an easy one. Area equals base times height, B times H. Okay? We added to that afterwards. I think we did rectangles probably next. And with rectangles, do y'all know the formula? Do you remember the formula from yesterday for area? There's two options. You can either use the same formula, right? That's pretty easy. Or the one that you're probably more used to is length times width, right? So either use the same exact formula as the parallelograms or go with the old fashioned one. It does not matter to me. Notice these two things, you're multiplying B times H, you're multiplying L times W, okay? Your base is actually gonna be your length and your height is going to be your width. So it doesn't matter which one you use. You just know that you're multiplying. Will you get the door? Okay, and then we also talked about squares yesterday. To find the area of squares, do we know what formula we would use here? It can be this one again. It can also be this one right here because with a square, the only thing that's going to happen is your base and your height are going to be the same number. So you can also use that old-fashioned length times width one as well. L times W. Or you can use the base times height. Okay? Now to me, personally, I just use the same formula for all of them. Because I know that that's what they all are going to fit under. But a lot of people are used to this formula right here length times width. You're welcome to use that. Okay, today we're going to add to this triangles. Now triangles are not anything like rectangles and squares and parallelograms, are they? Because a triangle only has how many sides? Three, and these shapes up here have four sides, right? So they're in a completely different family. So now, unfortunately, we're not going to get to use the exact same formula. It just doesn't make sense. All right, but it is a pretty easy formula. And let me show you where the formula comes from. Let's say we have a parallelogram, right? And you take this parallelogram and you cut it into two triangles. Does this parallelogram look like it has been cut in half, exactly in half? I'm going to shade this right here. Does the shaded triangle and the white triangle look like they're about the same size? Yeah, they do, right? So what that means is I took the parallelogram and I cut it exactly in half. So a triangle is actually is half of a parallelogram. So that's actually where we get the formula for the area of a triangle. This black triangle here is exactly half of the original shape. So to find the area of a triangle, I'm going to take this formula, and what do you think I'm going to do to it? Well, we're not going to use the exact same formula because for a triangle, we only want half the shape. So we're going to take the formula and we're going to take half times base times height. Okay, now you don't need these dots in here, do you? Whenever you're multiplying, you can just write them side by side. But one half 
B H. It's literally this exact same formula, but now we take half of it. Okay? So this is the new formula that is for triangles. So now I'm yes, I'm asking you to memorize a new formula, but it's really not all that different from the other ones. Right? You just put half in front of it. So when you are looking for the area of a triangle, you only need to identify what is the base and what is the height. It's always going to have the half in front of it. You need to know what is the base and what is the height. So let's practice doing that just on a couple of triangles here. I'm going to draw some triangles that look a little bit, that look different, okay? So draw these with me. Okay, so I got two different triangles. I'll give you guys a second to draw those. Try to draw them pretty close to how I've drawn them. All right, so on these triangles, I'm not going to put any numbers in there. I just want to practice identifying the base and the height. Now, remember, we talked about base yesterday. What does base mean? On a shape, the base is where? The bottom, right? Literally, base is what something sits on. Just think in general. I need you to pay attention. Okay? I need you to pay attention. Base is what something sits on. So the base is the bottom of the shape. That should always be the easiest thing to find. So on this triangle right here, this side length down here, that's going to be your base. If this is 8 inches long, if this is 2 feet long, whatever, that's your base, right? This is a different kind of triangle. But the base is still, the bottom, what it sits on. Okay, so however long this side is down here, that's your base. We also talked about H yesterday. What does H stand for again? It stands for your height. And we talked about this. When you're looking for the height of a shape, height just means how tall it is, right? And you have to go from bottom to top straight up. Now, we already identified the bottom of this triangle. Would we all agree that this is the top of the triangle? So I need to know how far is it from the top straight down to the bottom. So that would be right through here. That would be my height. Remember, A stands for height. Okay, so normally they're going to give you this number. It's going to be a dotted line in here. To, and they're going to tell you how tall that is. 3 inches, 4 inches, whatever. Now on this triangle, here's the bottom, right? Bottom of the triangle. I'm missing down here. Would we say this is the top of the triangle? Right? Would y'all agree? Top? So the height is from the very top straight down to the bottom. So from the very top straight down to the bottom would actually be this line right here. So that whatever that length is, that's your height. Does that make sense? There's no point in drawing a dotted line over here because I already know what this length is going to be. Okay, let me draw one more funny looking triangle. <clears throat> Alright, so I got a triangle that looks like that. This is where this is the one place where it gets a little bit tricky to me. If this is the way my triangle is sitting, would y'all agree that this is the base down here? Yeah, that's the base. Again, base is easy to find. It's the bottom of the triangle. Now, the height on this one. Remember, from top to bottom. This is the top of the triangle. Yeah? From top straight down to bottom. So what you actually have to do is you have to draw your height extended out here. This, did I go to the very bottom? Right, like if I extended this line, that's where it would be. So this would be my height from top straight down to wherever the bottom would be. That is your height. Okay, so on these kind of triangles, the height's weird. It's outside of the triangle. It's usually drawn out there. But remember, the dotted line, that's not actually part of the shape. 
they give you that so you can know how tall it is. All right, so there's some examples of just some, some basic triangles. We can do anything and use one of these examples, okay? Let me stop this. Some actual examples, okay? With numbers and everything. You don't have to draw but three examples, okay? So draw these three examples with me. All right, so I got me a right triangle here. I'm gonna say this bottom is four inches, the side is three inches, and the last side is five inches. Just making up some numbers. And I want us to be able to find the perimeter in the area of this triangle. Let's knock out the perimeter first. We didn't, we haven't talked about perimeter today, but we talked about it yesterday. Perimeter means all the way around the outside, right? So how do you find the perimeter? Add up all your sides. How many sides do we have? Three sides. Add them up. Three plus four plus five. And that is 12. So my perimeter would be 12 inches. Perimeter is easy. Don't miss that one. Please do not miss that one. Add up all your sides. Now for area, we need to use our new formula. Our brand new formula is one half base height. One half times base times height. And we're going to use the calculator for this. We will rely on that calculator to make this easy. But I have to be able to identify which one of these sides over here is the base. Base means bottom, right? Which side would that be? Which one of these is the base? Four, right? Do you all agree? Here's my base. Base means bottom. Man, this class keeps getting smaller and smaller. The rest of you are going to have to step up. All right, this guy right here is my base. That's my base. Now I need to know my height. Height is from top to bottom. Find the top of your triangle. Voila, top of my triangle right there, right? Straight down to the bottom would actually be this line right here. So what's my height going to be? How long is this line? Three inches. So this is my height. So all I got to do is plug in four and three here and here. So I'm going to do one half times four times three. And I'm going to type that into the calculator and see what we get. One half times four times three. All right, so one half, y'all remember how to type in fractions, I hope? Half times four times three, six. So my area is six. All of this multiplies to be six and it again is in inches squared like we did yesterday. Area has a little two on there. We got it? Okay, let's move on to example two. Like I said, I'm only going to make you draw three examples. All right, draw this one with me. This one's going to be a funny one. So far, you see how I've started this? It makes it easier if you start it how I start it. Down, over, and then connect. And I'm going to just make up some numbers. Let's say this is four centimeters. And let's say this is nine centimeters. Let's 
let's say this is seven centimeters and this little dotted line is six point five centimeters Now remember, dotted lines are not actually part of your shape. They're given for whatever reason, but they're not part of your shape. Here's the triangle. All of this is my triangle. First, let's do perimeter. We need to add up the three sides. What are the three sides? I know that's a tough one, isn't it? Seven, nine, and four, thank you. Seven plus nine plus four. Add those up. I got 20. So that means my perimeter is 20 centimeters. Perimeter should be the easy one. Okay, now the area. Start with your formula. One half BH. Always start with your formula. So you can know what sides you even need. You need your base. You need your height. Base means bottom. Which side is the bottom of that triangle? Four, right? This is my base. Now, height from the very top of the triangle straight down to the bottom. Top of the triangle straight down to the bottom. That would be this side right here, this dotted line. How long is that dotted line? 6.5, so that is my height. So I'm going to plug in 1 half times 4 times 6.5. See what we get. 1, one half times 4 times 6.5. I got 13, so that would be 13 centimeters squared. Notice how, how it easy it is to show your work. I need you guys to do that because I need to know what numbers you're plugging in for B and H. All right, let's do one more example here. That Well, actually, I'm going to do a few examples, but this is the last one you guys have to draw. All right, let's see. Let's go with, keep it pretty simple still. Alright, let's say that this bottom side down here is um, 10, I'm not even going to put inches or anything, just 10. This side is going to be 3, this side is going to be 5, and here is 2. All right, so let's knock this out real quick. Perimeter. Add up the sides. What are the three sides? Three, five, and ten. Three plus five plus ten, that would be eighteen. So my perimeter is eighteen. Easy enough. Why did we not use the two? Two's not even part of the outside of the triangle. Perimeter's outside of the triangle. Alright, so area. Start with your formula. 1 half BH. What would y'all say the base of this triangle is? 10, right? 10 is the bottom. Alright, so I'm going to put 10 here. 10 there. What about the height? From the very top to the bottom of the triangle, how far is that? 2. This is my height. Agree? So I'm putting 2 there. So I'm going to do 1 half times 10 times 2.
1 half times 10 times 2 gives me 10. So my area is 10. All right. All right, let's say we have one that looks like this. Okay, so here's my triangle. First thing, what do you notice? The triangle looks what? Upside down. Don't let that worry you. Let's say this side right here is seven centimeters. Let's say this side is five centimeters and this side is um, six and a half centimeters. And then here is four centimeters. So you said it, the triangle looks upside down. There's nothing in the rules that doesn't say you can't flip this triangle over. Okay? So we usually think of the base as what's on bottom. This up here can be our base. It's fine. Okay? If you were to visualize this triangle completely flipped over, that's the base, right? Okay? So you don't actually have to flip your paper over. You can. But as, as long as you can visualize it, do that. All right, let's start with perimeter. Add up my three sides. That would be seven, five, and six and a half. Seven, whoops, seven plus five plus six point five is eighteen point five. That's my perimeter. Okay. Um, now area. Now here's the here's where it matters about your base and your height. Because we gotta have our formula. You guys just told me this looks like it would be upside down. So I'm going to use this for my base. What's my height going to be? From top to bottom. In this case, this is my top. This is my bottom. So this number right here is my height. That would be 4. So 1 half times 7 times 4. That would be 14. So my area is 14 centimeters squared. All right, I'm going to do two more. Keep following along so that you are not confused here in a minute. All right, on this triangle. Should be pretty easy. My perimeter, add up the sides, 10, 24, and 26, right? 60. For my area, I need the base and the height. I'm going to cut this out. Kylie, what's the base? What's the bottom of this triangle? 10. ten. So I'm going to put 10 here. How about the height, Kylie? How tall is it? From top straight down to bottom. 24. From top straight down would be this one over here, so 24. So one half times 10 times 24 is 120. Alright, I'm going to draw one more for you. Sometimes you'll see where they draw this extra dotted line that connects back to the base. That's because they want you to know that they they want you to know that they've gone all the way to the very bottom. Okay? So this just runs right along into this. Alright, for my perimeter, what three sides am I gonna add together? Tell me what three sides am I adding together? Eight, seven, and ten point five. That would be I think twenty five. 0.5 for my perimeter. All right, last thing. Area. What's my base going to be here? 
8. Agree? Agree? My base is 8. So 1 half times 8. How about my height? There you go. 1 half times 8 times 5, and that is going to give me 20. Okay.